Hi, my name is Nikki. My name is Sue. It's Larry. It's Jan. It's Deborah. Sue. Jural. I am blind. I use a guide dog. I am deaf. I'm a paraplegic. And I disabled. I use a wheelchair and I have a service dog. Um, I've been blind for 35 years. I'm a professional. A friend. A very proud auntie. Loves travel. I am certainly an avid cruiser. But most important. But most important. I'm a person just like you. And a person. A person just like you. So I'm just a person like you. A person's wheelchair is considered a part of the individual. You would not lean on another person or place a bag on them, so you should not do it to someone's wheelchair. Remember, my chair, my body. It is my body. I can tell you exactly. I can, can look at an opening, say, between cars, and I can tell you from a distance whether or not I can fit. I can tell you the, my exact footprint. And as, as I move my body, um, it, it's the chair that, that's moving. It, it is me, you know, and more than 45 years in a chair, it, it has, it's just an extension of who I am. When talking to someone in a wheelchair for more than a brief moment, Show respect by kneeling or sitting next to them so you are at eye level during the conversation. Do I, do I, I think it's better to come down to eye level. Either it's beside you or, you know, somehow get down to your level. Just kneel, kneel me down. Part of it is when you, when you have to look at something like that, you get a kick in your neck. Yeah, you know, that's, that's the only bad time. And that, that would really only be the bad experience. Um, I think it's always nice if, um, if we're doing a one-on-one -on -one and it's a lengthy conversation, if, if someone um, will sit down, if, you know, if, if that's appropriate. When you are in a group conversation with someone who is blind, address each person by name. This will help the individual who is blind know who you are addressing. It is also important to excuse yourself when you leave the conversation so the individual who is blind knows you have left. Instead of just saying, hey, how are you doing? And it's like a group of three, five, whatever of us actually say the person's name. So I know who, um, who, who's being addressed and it's because if, if, they, if someone says, how are you doing, and then just like three of us here, I will probably be the one to answer and they say, I'm not talking to you. And it's just, so address the person by name, I think would be the best way of doing it. Take for instance, there'll be six of us blind people at one table now on this cruise. And so it'll be helpful when, t for instance, taking the order. Uh, can I have your order, Sue? Can I have your order, Larry? Um, sometimes we can tell by the way they're positioned behind us. But if they're looking across the table at us, you know, usually eye contact will tell you who they're talking to. But it, it, since we, again, can't identify that, uh, just saying the name and get it, you know, what, what do you want? When a service animal is working, do not pet, feed, or distract it in any way. Its purpose is to keep the individual safe and away from potentially dangerous situations. Although the animal is highly trained to remain focused, distractions can place the individual in harm's way.
I can tell when the dog is supposed to stop when there is a curb. So, um, but if somebody tries to tell me five feet away from the curb, I would assume the curb is right there and my dog is not doing the job. And that would hinder, so I get nervous and that will um, transfer to my dog. So the dog gets nervous and then the dog actually screws up. So um, sometimes it's probably the best to um, left to be left alone. <laughs>when speaking to someone who can read lips, speak clearly without covering your mouth or raising your voice. Maintain eye contact to ensure you do not look away, making it difficult for the individual to see your mouth. If you have difficulty communicating, it is okay to ask the individual if writing the information down would be helpful. Well, a lot of times I notice if I'm in a group, uh, somebody might turn to the person next to them, which is away from me, and talk to them, and I won't be able to, to follow that conversation. Or, you know, they'll talk to them about me. And so, I, you know, there's a lot of quick fixes that I have to employ to use. I need to take the time to ask people to talk to me directly and look at me.